Okay, hi guys. Um, so as you can see, I have no makeup on my face because I'm going to do a foundation routine for you guys. Um, I haven't done one since like last year, so this is like, I don't know, a new year's um, foundation. I've changed it up a little bit, and so I just want to show you guys what I do. And the first thing is I put lotion on my face and I'm using the Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer because I have dry skin and I feel like a lot of gurus on YouTube have oily skin um I don't know why I think oily skin is more common um but in the winter time a lot of people get dry and so I use this is my I don't know it's a daily moisturizer so it's my daily moisturizer but um I use an Olay one at night and it's like Olay wrinkles or something. I don't know. It's for like old people. But um, when I ran out of my daily moisture or my nighttime moisturizer, my grandma let me use it, and it works amazing. Okay, and so I don't put a ton on, so it dries pretty fast. The next, I'm going to be using a primer, and I'm trying out the Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer um, because it was on sale, so I bought it, and. Let's see how much I like it. Um, you don't really need a lot, I found out, with this primer. Um, a little bit goes a long way, and I'm just going to rub it between my fingers and just kind of apply it. Um, I do a lot of my foundation routine with my hands and not a brush, because um, I just find that that works better for me. I used to be, like, obsessed with, like, Oh, I want to use this brush because I feel cool if I have this brush and this brush. But um, I just find that it works a lot better if I do it with my hands. So, do you guys like my film, like the um, filming and stuff? Because this is my new camcorder that I've never filmed a video on it, and this is the first video, so it's really exciting. <laughs> um, next, I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Colorstay, and I know you've heard tons and tons because every girl on, on YouTube uses this foundation. Um, I was probably one of the last people to pick it up, just because it's pricey for a drugstore. It's like 11 something, maybe 12. Um, I just thought it was a little pricey for a drugstore foundation, um, which is silly, because like you spend like 45 on like a high-end foundation. Um, but I feel like that the Revlon Color Stay is pretty much amazing and it's worth. So again, I just rub it between my fingers. Um, it doesn't have a pump. And I know, again, that's something you've heard a ton about already. It's like the biggest complaint on this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump. Um, this foundation's great because it does have different formulas for oily skin and dry skin, which most foundations don't do. But, um, so that's really nice. Sorry if I look oh, like over here, my mirror is like right there. Uh, um, make sure you get it then down your neck because you don't want to be a different color. Um, if you guys are wondering, I am in the color 200 Nude and Focus. Well, I'm sure you guys believe me. Um, this fits me really well. Like, it's probably the best color payoff. Um, I'm pretty pale, but I like to buy almost a color up on my foundation. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but I just feel like if I buy a color up, it's still kind of it still blends really well with my skin and kind of gives me a nice, um, because I have really red undertones that come out like really bad in my cheeks and stuff. If I buy a color up, it kind of neutralizes my really red skin. Next, I'm going to show you guys this and you should all go out and buy it right now. It's amazing. If you have under eye circles at all, you need this concealer. I've used so many concealers for my under eye circles and the only one that I've found that works this good is my MAC select cover up this is like $18 and this is like 7 and it is the Maybelline new instant age rewind eraser dark circles and it's one of these new like little like round top like in these kind of bottle things that like a lot of people are coming out with but I just do like two swipes under each eye and then I just use my finger to rub it in and I'm a college student who stays up till like all hours of the night and then gets up and goes to class like my dark circles are awful 
So this really works, and it's really fast. Normally, I don't... If I'm, like, running to class, I won't do foundation, but, like, I will put on this just because it really wakes my eyes up. And it just works really great. Next, I'm also I'm trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Everyone's raving about this. Um, so I really wanted to see what all, like, the fuss was about. And I'm just going to use... Um, my little elf um, powder brush that I really love. I love these brushes. Um, since I have dry skin, I just like to pat it on instead of like really like rubbing it on. I have to be, I have a really light hand when I put on powder or foundation just because um, I feel like the brush really irritates my skin. And so, that's pretty much my foundation routine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I do for bronzer and blush, just because I feel like that's pretty much a foundation. Um, I'm going to use my Hard Candy bronzer, and it's Hula Hula. And at first I didn't like this. I figured, I felt like the color payoff wasn't that great. But um, it works really well for me. And then my turn, my phone just went off. If you, sorry if you guys heard it. But um, I just like to rub my brush around in it, and then I start with my forehead, and then I go to my like, sorry guys, and then I like to go down my nose, because I feel like I really like the effect of like a bronzed nose, that makes it so stupid, but I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> just what I like. And that's pretty much what I do every day for bronzer. And I normally switch up my blushes depending on my mood or something. Um, blush is like my favorite thing about makeup, so I really like to play around with it. Um, I think I'm just going to use my Bella Bomba. I put Bella Bomba. And this is like the only high-end thing I've used in this whole routine. But I've, it's like a drugstore foundation routine. That's nice. <laughs> Okay, and then I just like to pat it on. Again, I don't do a lot of like, like rubbing motions just because it kind of irritates my skin. Alright, and that is pretty much my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!